Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about our dog and cat fleas the same? The cat and dog fleas are two of the most commonly found in domestic settings. Despite sharing the name, flea, these two varieties have a lot of differences. Contrary to popular belief, the fleas that commonly attack cats are different from those that target dogs. They may be from the same genus but they are two distinct species. Cat fleas are scientifically known Tenocephalides felis while dog fleas are the Tenocephalides canis. There are slight differences not only in their meal preference but also their behavior and geographical distribution. We will go into all of these as well as all the tips and tricks you need to get rid of the pesky little bugs. But first, let us take a closer look at what dog fleas are and what makes them different from cat fleas. What are dog fleas? Dog fleas are known as Tenocephalides canis and are a specific type of flea that are known to prefer attacking dogs. However, they also feed from any other available animal including cats, raccoons, and even human beings. Their bite causes irritation through the saliva and are commonly implicated in flea-allergic dermatitis. When it comes to appearance, it is almost impossible to distinguish a dog flea from a cat flea with the naked eye. This is because the differences are mainly microscopic. The dog fleas have a more rounded head which is best appreciated in the profile view. Another distinction that can be made under the microscope is the number of notches on the hind legs which in this case are eight. In addition to physical appearance and meal preferences, dog fleas have a unique distribution on a global scale. They are very common in Europe and Africa and occur very rarely in North America. In the continents where they are prevalent, Dog fleas attack both dogs and cats in almost equal measure. Appearances in North America are associated with breed imports in which case they mainly attack dogs. Dog fleas are known to transmit some diseases when they take their blood meal. The most common here is the dog tapeworm which is also known as Dipolidium caninum. In addition to the contact dermatitis and overall irritation, this worm is more than enough motivation to get rid of the bugs in which case both chemical and natural methods are worth giving a try. The best part is that if you are not sure what you are dealing with, the methods will still be effective as dog flea treatments also kill cat fleas. What are cat fleas? Cat fleas are known as Tenocephalides felis and typically prefer to feed from cats. However, they have been known to attack more animals especially outdoor, wild mammals like opossums, raccoons, or foxes. They can also live on humans and dogs if they happen to be closer at the point of hatching from cocoons from their pupae stage. Physically, they have the typical flea form with a sideways flattened body, long and powerful legs and clear to brown body. On a microscopic level, these fleas have a more elongated head with a sharper curve than that of the dog flea. Their hind legs also happen to have six notches and not eight like the dog variety. In terms of distribution, cat fleas are most commonly found in North America. In fact, most dogs in this part of the world that are affected by flea infestations carry this species and not the dog flea options. They are, however, also found in other continents including Europe although not in as many numbers as the dog fleas. Cat fleas are also different from dog fleas in that they are notorious for spreading diseases. While the dog flea pretty much only carries flea tapeworms, cat fleas carry a variety of parasites and bacteria. These include murine typhus, rickettsia felis, dipetalonema recunditum, acanthochylonema recunditum, and the bacteria responsible for Lyme disease. They also stand out in that they are rarely transferred so you can pet a cat with fleas. This is because although they can live on cat for one to three months, they die within days to two weeks of being off the host.